We are going to create the second method that is private get places and it is going to return a list of hash map. So basically to store one place we are using hash map. So to store all the places, all the nearby places that we find, we need a list of hash map. So we are going to create list of hash map and hash map is taking two string parameters. So get places will return list of hash maps and it will take a JSON array. Here write int count equals JSON array dot length. So we are going to store the number of elements in the JSON array. So get place will return a hash map for each place and get places will store all the hash maps in a list. So we are going to create the list of hash map and it will take two string parameters and write places list equals new array list. And we are also going to create a hash map to store each place that we fetch and then we'll import it in the list. So write hash map string string place map equals null. Then we are going to use for loop. So write in i equals zero i less than count i plus plus. And here what we are going to do is first we are going to use the get place method to fetch one place and then we are going to add it to the list of hash map that is places list. So first write place map equals get place and write json array dot get i so it will fetch ith place and here we are going to write json object. And there is an unhandled exception so write alt enter and click on surround with try catch. Then we are going to add it to places list. So write places list dot add place map. And after that, we are going to return the list. So write return places list. And the last method of this class is parse. So write public list of hash map string string so this will return a list of hash map parse and it will take string json data so here i am going to create two objects one is json array and set it to null and the other one is json object and I'm going to initialize it here. So write JSON object equals new JSON object and pass JSON data here. And to take care of the exception, click Alt Enter surround with try catch. Then write JSON array equals JSON object dot get JSON array and pass results here in double quotes and then we are going to return get places of json array so basically when we create data parser we are going to call this parse method and it will pass the json data then it will send it to get places method then in the get places method it will take the JSON array. Then the get places method will call get place method using the for loop and it will fetch each element from the JSON array for each place. 
and then it will store it in places list and then it will return it to the parse method and then the whole thing will get returned to the origin then these two classes are done now now we are going to work on get nearby places data class so open it and we are going to create one more method so write private void show nearby places and it is going to take a list of hash map string string and name it nearby place list and to resolve this error click alt enter import class so i'm going to create a for loop right for int i equals zero i less than nearby places list dot size i plus plus and this method is going to show all the places in the list so basically we are going to create marker options and add a marker to map and then move the camera to that marker so write marker options marker options equals new marker options and write hash map string string google place equals nearby place list dot get i which will fetch the ith element and store it in google place then we are going to fetch the place name and vicinity so write string place name equals google place dot get and write place name place underscore name in double quotes and same for vicinity right string vicinity equals google place dot get and vicinity in then write double lat equals double dot parse double google place dot get lat so google place dot get will return a string and we need to parse that string in double value so for that we have used double dot parse double method we are going to do the same thing for longitude so write double lng equals double dot parse double google place dot get and pass lng here then we are going to create a latlang object so write latlang latlang equals new latlang and pass lat and lng values here and then we can set the position and title for marker options so write marker options dot position new latlang latlang and marker options dot title and for the title we are going to set the place name plus vicinity so write place name plus space or you can write colon plus vicinity and then we are going to add this marker to the map we can also set the icon so i'm going to set it here marker options dot icon bitmap descriptor factory dot default marker and it will take bitmap descriptor factory dot i'm going to use u blue and m map dot add marker marker options so we have added the marker options here here it should be just lat lang because we have already created a lat lang uh, object then we can move the camera to that location so write m map dot move camera camera update factory dot new lat lang lat lang and we can animate it so right m map dot animate camera camera update factory dot zoom to 
and I'm going to write 10 here. So this part is also done. Now we are going to work on the on post execute method. We are going to remove this statement super dot on post execute and write list hash map string string nearby place list equals null and we are going to create an object of data parser so write data parser parser equals new data parser and then write nearby places list equals parser dot parse and pass and pass the string s here then we are going to call this method show nearby places so write show nearby places and pass this nearby place list so this is it for today thank you for watching this video and make sure to subscribe to my channel and if you like this video give it a thumbs up bye